A Stuart 10H steam engine build, part one. This set of components for a part machine Stuart 10H steam engine was sent to me by a kind viewer a while ago. This is the introduction showing all of the parts and looking at the potential amount of work required to complete the project. When I first received these parts, I put them in this food container and miraculously all the parts included in this box fitted perfectly into it. I'll show what was in the cardboard box shortly. This is a part machine crankshaft. It looks like it's been machined with the casting that would have been with the kit at the time it was produced. I will need to machine this down to the correct dimensions, but that shouldn't be difficult. But to be honest, I normally use the built-up crankshaft method. Making a crankshaft this way, for me, will be a bit of a change. It's time to empty the food container and see what I have to work with. Here's the bed plate and the box bed, and so far, without looking at it in detail, I can see that the machining is to quite a good standard. The main sole plate and trunk guide in the centre of this image definitely needs some fettling. Although, thankfully, the hard part, the trunk guide, has already been machined. This, of course, is the flywheel casting, which is unmachined. It will need fettling and turning to the right size which is quite a simple job. Well, it is if you've done it quite a few times. Experience and practice is really the answer. And when I think about it, the same thing applies to being a musician. It's experience and plenty of practice that makes you a competent musician. Well, it works for me anyway. This is the box bed, and it sits very nicely on the bench. It's a bit rusty and needs a clean. And the top is not perfect. I'll probably clean this up on a linisher and then use my whetstone to make it even flatter on the top. A short while ago I rebuilt a Stuart score, which is basically two of these, which share a common sole plate. Why is it called a score, I wonder? If this is a 10H, 10 is 10 and 20 is a score. 10 times 2. This sole plate casting is very rough and needs quite a lot of fettling before machining. And that is all part of the fun of making a model steam engine, or so I'm told, I find it a pain. This is a cylinder and it looks to be well machined. Just about everything on this engine is covered in marking out blue, and I'm not complaining, it'll save me doing it. One thing I notice is, this part is wrong. The studs are too short, because in between, the actual trunk guide and the cylinder is a special part which incorporates the piston rod stuffing gland. And these four studs fitted into the cylinder are far too short. Another problem I can see is the steam chest is a perfect fit on the cylinder, but the steam chest cover is a bit short. Recently, I bought a 10H casting for the vintage 10H and it was no good. And I still have it, so I'll probably machine that so everything is a good fit. I think I can remember where I put it. This is the main structure of the engine with the gland part fitted, and as you can see, the studs were far too short, as is the steam chest cover, as I'm showing in this image. The small old cardboard box contained the slide valve, the valve rod, the valve rod block, and the valve fork. A quick look at the crankshaft. It's currently machined oversize, which is great, it means I can finish it. This is a good thing, because while I've got the four-jaw chuck in the Byford, I built to make the crankshaft for the 1896 engine at the same time, although that crankshaft will be built up and silver soldered together. Here's the piston and crosshead, and the piston has oil grooves in it. In this piston I will machine a groove to take a three quarters of an inch outside diameter steam grade silicone o-ring. I'm unscrewing the piston just to see what the fit is like on the thread, and it's okay. This clip also shows the eccentric strap and rod and the bearing material for the crankshaft. And that concludes this introduction. All I have to say now is stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.